Praise the Lord. Good to see you all. And uh, we're glad to be in the house of God again. This is uh, Tuesday night revival. I'm glad to be here. How about you? Praise the Lord. We had a fantastic day, beautiful weather. We went down to the arch again, and, and some of these guys went up. And then we went on, uh, what's the name of that boat? Tom Sawyer, down the river, up the river. It was great. Had a great time. All right, it's time to worship the Lord. How about we all stand and go to the Lord and tell him why we're here? Let's get ready to have church. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day and your blessings on us. We're excited to be in your house tonight, Lord. And God, we just pray that you bless the service and our songs and everything, Lord, that we do. Lord, when our hands raise, Lord, you just know, God, that we mean it from the depths of our heart. When we sing, Lord, we mean it from the depths of our heart. Lord, we, we have prayed for revival, and now we're here, Lord, to receive. We're here to receive. We just pray, God, you'd fill this place with your glory. Amen. Praise God. We're going to sing page 134. I'll have a new life. I miss my cue. Okay. On that resurrection morning when all the dead in Christ shall rise, I'll have a new body. Praise the Lord. I'll have a new life. Sown in weakness, raised in power, ready to live in paradise. I'll have a new body, praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. I'll have a new home of love eternal, with the redeemed of God to stand. There'll be no more sorrow, no more pain, there'll be no more strife. Raised in the likeness of my Savior, ready to live in glory land. I'll have a new body, praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. Free from every imperfection, youthful and happy I shall be. I'll have a new body, praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. Glorified with Him forever, death will be lost in victory. I'll have a new body, praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. I'll have a new home of love eternal, with the redeemed of God to stand. There'll be no more sorrow, no more pain, there'll be no more strife. Raised in the likeness of my Savior, ready to live in glory land. I'll have a new body, praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. What a hallelujah morning when the last trump of God shall sound. I'll have a new body, praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. Graves all bursting, saints are shouting, heavenly beauty all around. I'll have a new body, praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. I'll have a new home of love eternal, with the redeemed of God to stand. There'll be no more sorrow, no more pain, there'll be no more strife. All raised in the likeness of my Savior, ready to live in glory land. I'll have a new body, praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. Praise God. Aren't you excited? Going to have a new body someday? Amen. I probably have all the cake I want to when we get home. <laughs> Ice cream. I won't tell him what I want. Praise the Lord. Or actually, I'll probably just eat what he gives me. Because I'll be glad to be there. Let's sing uh, Jesus on the main line. bit higher yeah Jesus on that main line tell him what you want Jesus on that main line tell him what you want oh Jesus on that main line tell him what you want Jesus on that main line now oh let's call him up call him up tell him what you want oh call him up call him up tell him what you want 
Oh, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Jesus on that main line now. Well, if you want a blessing, just tell him what you want. Oh, if you want a blessing, tell him what you want. Oh, if you want a blessing, just tell him what you want. Jesus on that main line now. Oh, let's call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Oh, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Oh, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus on that main line now. Well, if you want the Holy Ghost, tell him what you want. Oh, if you want the Holy Ghost, tell him what you want. Oh, if you want the Holy Ghost, tell him what you want. Jesus on that main line now. Praise God. Aren't you glad nothing's too hard for the Lord? Whether it's deliverance from alcohol or to be filled with the Holy Ghost, amen. Or it could just uh, heal you of cancer. Doesn't matter, amen. amen. Praise God. Um, I want to do. Um, I feel good. I feel good. I've had a nap, but that's not not all the all the reason why. F. That's what it was in there. You've heard this song? <laughs> okay. Oh, how well I can remember all the days I spent in sin with no thought of doing all the things I should. Then the blessed Savior found me and gently took me in. Makes me want to shout, Hallelujah, I feel good. Oh, I feel good. Oh, I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good Oh, I feel good Oh, I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good Now when my traveling days are over And I've reached that happy shore Everything up there will be just like it should And when step inside that city and see my Jesus face I'm gonna shout hallelujah I feel good oh I feel good oh I feel good just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good oh I feel good oh I feel good just to know I've been redeemed makes me me feel good hallelujah praise God I'm so glad we got the Lord on our side good to see you brother Bill and your wife Amen. praise God I want to hear from you in a while amen I've been hearing good things in Tennessee praise God let's let's sing uh, one more let me see what I got here bless that wonderful name of Jesus F Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Like no other name I know. Oh, there's power in the name of Jesus. Oh, there's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus like no other name I know. Oh, let's bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus like no other name I know there is healing in the name of Jesus there is healing in the name 
of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus, like no other name. I know, bless that name. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus, like no other name. I know, one more time. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus, like no other name I know. Praise the Lord. Wow, that feels good singing that. Amen. There's no other name like Jesus. Isn't that right? Praise the Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I, I could just keep going, but it's, it's not going to be all my turn. You may be seated for just a minute. Praise God. This is uh, Sister Sue's son. His name is Brother Bill. Well, we call him Brother because he is our brother in Christ. But Brother Bill, been hearing such great things about uh, what's going on in Tennessee, and I know you're excited uh, to know that God is still the same. Amen. And, and sometimes it seems like he's maybe, maybe stronger at times, you know, because we, we pray and pray and pray. Lord, show us your power and your glory. And it seems like there's, there's a right time, amen, for him to show up, a right time. And would you stand and tell us what's going on in Tennessee? Glad you're here. Amen. Church in Arkansas, pastors, and they've been having a revival there for probably, I think you said about 90 months. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about every time the doors are open, just about people are coming in. He says sometimes they well. can get to the song service. They walk in the back door right to the altar. <laughs> Hallelujah. No. Yeah, I don't either. I think oh, that uh, God's church, are, are, we're a revived church. We're a church that, I, I don't know, I tell them at, at our home church, I say, you know, I don't think we should have any. We have our weeknight services on Tuesday. I say, I don't think we need to have a Tuesday night service. The most powerful service, I don't know about y'all, but uh, down there, usually the most powerful service is Sunday. Uh, Sunday night, that is. And I said, I guess because you go to church Sunday morning, you're there and you got your mind on God all day and then Sunday night you go back and it's just explosive. Oh, right. And I said, but I think every single service, brother, I think it needs to be like a Sunday night service. Yeah. I don't think that we need to have a Tuesday or a Monday night service. Nothing dull, nothing drab. I think that it's all exciting That's with good. God. You know, Amen. I mean, praise God. You know, there's a, uh, somebody was talking to me about the, uh, uh, what is it that keeps you really? And I said, it's not by works of righteousness, which we have done. Right. It's according to his mercy, as he saved us, by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. Right. Amen. I thank Amen. God, God that he renews you day by day. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God for being here tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We appreciate your good work, both of you in Tennessee and wherever else you go. <laughs> Amen. 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 Praise God. Let, let me see if anybody's got a, a testimony of what God's done for you in this revival so far. Don't take too long, or I'm going to sing a song. <laughs> Tell me you got revived already. Amen, I have. Praise God. All right. Such blessings that I just got lost, totally lost. And that's.
Yes. And Amen. having that knowledge of who he is gives us the strength to go ahead and get back to church and, and fall on our faces and say, God, it's me again. It's me again, and I know that you got what I need. You know, I can't sit down and stop. There's no one, nowhere to sit down and stop at. You know, I've, I've come this way. She sat down real quietly. She usually takes a little longer to express what she's feeling. Um, good to know that we can feel the Lord. I, I shared a song with, our, with our, our group here. And they thought it would be good if we would do this. Uh, I see her about 11 years ago. I wrote a song about my dad. And a, what, a, what a great impression that he made on me. Uh, over and over we would go to church and he would... He would testify every single service, every single time. Uh, and even if they didn't ask him, he would stand up. And, and uh, most of the time it turned out being one of those, what they call a 
burning testimony. And uh, he, would, he would preach, it seemed like, for 15 minutes, and uh, he was just supposed to be testifying. Uh, but uh, this is a song I wrote about him, uh, something that he would say. Um, I don't know if you remember way back, but uh, some of them used to stand up and say, I know that I know that I know that I know that Jesus saved my soul. Well, that, that really got into me, and, and I think everybody has heard it. But uh, uh, we practiced last night, and uh, we're going to sing it. I used to hear my dear old daddy say a long, long time ago, He'd say it with conviction, how the Lord had saved his soul. We went to church real often, Dad never would miss a chance to stand and testify and say something like this. I know that I know that I know that I know that Jesus saved my soul. You'll get it genuine It will make you walk right It'll make you walk the line And you won't mind to say it When someone asks you why My friend, if you've got a minute I'd like to testify Oh, I know that I know That I know that I know Jesus saved my soul, and there's not a doubt, He brought me out, I know that I know that I know, I know that I know that I know that I know that Jesus saved my soul. What Brother Sanders didn't tell you was this morning as we got up and we were getting prepared to go uptown, I told him, I said, I woke up singing, I know that I know that I know that I know that Jesus saved my soul. And there's not a doubt he brought me out. I know that I know that I know. And I'm going to tell you, you better wake up singing that song every morning that you know that you know. And I, I, I believe with all of my heart, brother, that God gave that song to you to share Amen. with us. And we're going to share that thing all across the country. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Someday, my greatest hope is to uh, get to sing it to my dad. Amen. Amen. All right, I would like to invite Sister Vicki to come up and uh, read. And uh, sing a song. Amen. And uh, while she's singing, I would like to have uh, Brother Charlie to uh, come and receive the offering. Uh, Brother Charlie has given me a report on, uh, on how much we've gotten so far. And uh, I won't tell you right now, but I would like to tell you that uh, we have two more nights tonight and tomorrow night. And uh, I would like to uh, see if we can get it up closer to uh, uh, a level that I was, I was hoping for. I do thank you for everything that you've given so far. And... Uh, I really appreciate you and all your sacrifice. And I know that some have given even way before the revival started. And uh, I do appreciate it. And uh, I, thank, uh, I thank them for coming all the way from Arkansas. And they travel so far. And for miles and miles and miles. And, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that a lot of the times they, they give their, their service away. They go into prisons and, and, and preach and sing. And, and the whole idea of it, the whole goal is to get people to come forth and, uh, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's, uh, it's the difference, I, I think, maybe between evangelists and pastor, how they really focus on accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And, and they do it. They, they get the results. So uh, thank you uh, to the uh, Crusaders. I'm going to ask Brother Charlie to ask the blessing right now.
found my book. I hadn't, didn't know where it was for years, <laughs> literally. And I asked God which I, one I should sing, and I went back and forth among a bazillion of them because I just found my book again. But I want to sing Canaan Land is just in sight. Because it is, folks. It is. Moses led God's children for sing one more. Um, I want to sing when he was on the cross, page 230 in my book, and I am so happy tonight to know, oh, I'm being the song leader. I told y'all what page it was on, didn't I? <laughs> I leave the songs here. I am so glad.
Thank you for watching, and we hope that uh, you have received a blessing from the services. And I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. If, if during the service did the Holy Spirit begin to knock on your heart's door, just saying that you felt like something just wasn't right in your relationship with the Lord, and you'd like to get that right, I want you to stop and think, where will you spend eternity? There's only two choices, heaven or hell. You can make heaven your home right now. Right where you're at at this very moment. You can pray and ask the Lord to come into your life. The Bible says that all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. God made a way by Jesus Christ giving himself on the cross for you. And it's simply asking him into your heart to forgive you of your sin. And to say, that's what he can do. So I'd be honored to lead you in a prayer. I can't save you, but I'd be honored to lead you in a prayer of faith. You pray, believing, and asking the Lord to come into your life to save you and forgive you of your sins. And recognizing that He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, that He died and rose again. My Bible says that you will be saved. So why don't you pray with me? Know that I'm a saint. Lord Jesus, I believe you died and you rose and that you're in heaven right now. Lord Jesus, would you come into my heart and forgive me of my sin? Lord Jesus, save me. I don't want to die and go to hell. Lord, thank you for saving my soul. And I want to live the rest of my life. Save me prayed that prayer, we'd like to hear you accepted the Lord as your Savior. And you can simply shoot us an email at thecrusadersministries.com. Go to our website, shoot us an email. We'd love to hear from you. You can find us on Facebook, The Crusaders Ministries, or we'd be glad to hear from you. Call me at 870 We'd like to rejoice with you and celebrate Maybe get you hooked up with a church in your area that can teach you and grow you. But if you pray this prayer of faith and ask the Lord to save you, I want to tell you, you just made the greatest decision in your life. By asking the Lord to save you.
Once again, thank you so very much for watching the video. And I want to tell you, the Crusaders is a non-profit organization. We travel full-time in ministry all across the United States, presenting the gospel in prisons, in homeless shelters, in churches, and other concert venues. We would desire your support. We desire your prayers, first of all. But it takes money to go across this nation. Fuel being four dollars a gallon plus, and the offerings go to get us to the next place to preach the gospel, present the gospel through song. So I ask you, prayerfully consider supporting the ministry of the Crusaders. And you can contact us again, thecrusadersministries.com, and there's uh, all sorts of information about supporting us. We pray that you'll pray about this. Or if you have further questions, feel free to call me. We'd be glad to speak with you concerning any issues you may have in your life. Or if you have questions about the ministry and what we're doing. Once again, that number that can be reached at is 870-904-3118. And once again, we thank you so very much for your support already and what you're going to do. And us going out and presenting the gospel and seeing more than we've seen except Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We're praying for thousands this year. We pray you'll pray with us and you'll support us as we go across presenting the gospel. Once again, thank you. God bless you.